COVID cases among young children are on the rise and there's no vaccine available for children under the age of 12. Vaccine manufacturers are working on it, but it's taking longer than it did to create an adult vaccine. But why? Here's our why guy. It's a bit like Goldilocks testing bowls of porridge. Scientists are in the process of developing a COVID vaccine for children that is just right. Months after adults began rolling up their sleeves, parents are wondering when their school-age kids will get a shot in the arm. It's a huge process. With the help of Dr. Grace Gowda from the University of Georgia's College of Pharmacy, let's answer why there's still not a COVID-19 vaccine for children under 12. Before FDA approval or even emergency use authorization, vaccines are tested in clinical trials. In this case, manufacturers had to find healthy children willing to take the vaccine in order to test the effectiveness and safety. It's also very hard to recruit patients. How many of us will volunteer our children to be in trials? Pfizer and Moderna began their clinical trials over the spring and summer, roughly a year after similar trials involving older patients. Dr. Gouda says manufacturers used that year to evaluate, using data on effectiveness to decide how many doses to give children during the pediatric trials. Children. We want to be a little bit more cautious, you know, because they're also developing. Because children are growing and changing, one age group may require more doses than another. Manufacturers may take as long as six months to evaluate the results of current clinical trials, longer than they did with the other COVID vaccines. It would give us an indication if there are any nuances in safety that needs to be considered before we give it to children. According to the CDC, at the end of July, only 32% of the eligible adolescents were fully vaccinated. Less than half of the nation's 12 to 17 year olds had received a single dose.